and a voice says, it was a car bomb. That moment every freedom fighter waits for, will they come for me today? And they'd come for me and I'd survived. Arabi has been through the grinder and he speaks what he lives. Lying in bed recovering, I receive a note. Don't worry, Comrade Alby, we will avenge you. Avenge me? We're going to chop off the arms? We're going to blind people? Where's that going to get us? But if we get democracy in South Africa and freedom, that will be my soft vengeance. Exploded, you, you waved to a friend that you saw. Yes, a car was coming past, and I stood up. Uh, instead of opening the door straight away, I waved to her, and then some people say that saved my life because I wasn't bending down to get into the car. Uh. The way Albi lives his life, the lack of bitterness. Albi gives you faith in being human, in being South African, a white South African man. You look at Albi, you think, Albi is what is possible. The average white person in South Africa lived a life of complete privilege and were raised under an understanding that they were supreme and it was their land, and that Africans were there to serve them. White and black were totally separated, not just physically, but in, in every other way. My father was one of those people who had been arrested if he dared forget his passbook. He disappeared for about six months, uh, and nobody knew where he was. Everybody thought he was probably killed or he had died. Apartheid. South Africa's laws entrenched white supremacy and racial separation as official policy. Apartheid dictated where you could live, where you could work, whom you could marry. It denied the majority of South Africans the right to vote. But many blacks and a small handful of young whites saw apartheid as a call to action. We were the only youth movement that had black and white members. And we felt, wasn't it marvelous to be born in a time of, of transformation and change. And we were going to be right at the forefront of change in South Africa. We enjoyed being across the color line we had boyfriends and girlfriends of different colors. We were joyful because we were different. That's the point, and we knew it. Thousands of black men and women rose up to protest the laws that stripped them of their rights and restricted their movements. This defiance campaign was organized by the African National Congress, or ANC. Among the first to be arrested was a young lawyer from Johannesburg named Nelson Mandela. <laughs> 